This ground turkey won't foul up the flavors of this tasty and quick chili recipe created in the Milthy Multipot. It's time for another hot dish from Happy Healthy Y. Start by chopping up the onion. I personally love to chop onions using my full star vegetable chopper as it saves me from tears. If you want to see a full review of the full star vegetable chopper where I put it through a full test, take a look at the link above or the description below. Once the onion is chopped, next it's time to grate up the garlic. The microplane that I often use is fast at grating garlic. But it might cut me and it's not as easy to use as my fine cheese grater which I usually use for this task. Now that the onion and garlic are ready, it's time to brown the ground turkey. So we punch the saute button on the Milfy Multipot to brown the ground turkey inside the pot. Today I'm going to use ground turkey instead of ground beef just to be healthier. Let's see if the kids notice that I use turkey instead of my usual ground beef to make the chili. Once you have the ground meat in the pot, go ahead and add the chopped onions and garlic to enhance the flavor of the meat. Once the ground beef, I mean turkey, is browned, turn off the multipot and drain off the fat. I like to use a strainer and let the juice fall into a bowl which I will place in a jar and into the freezer where I collect the fat so I can throw it all away in a solid form later. Place the drained meat back in the pot so we can add in all the spices. To the meat, we're going to add 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 2 teaspoons of kosher salt, 2 teaspoons of cumin, ground pepper to taste, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, 2 4 ounce cans of green chilies, they are quite mild and flavorful, a cup of water, and 2 15 ounces of chopped tomatoes are also added but we did not get to see that because my camera stopped recording. Close the Milfi Multipot lid. Make sure to put the vent to sealing. Set the pot to pressure cook for 25 minutes, but don't let that 25 minute timer fool you. The Muthi Multi Pot will warm up for about 6 to 10 minutes during the time that you will see steam being released. After that red button pops up, the pot will then turn to cook with pressure for the 25 minute you put on the timer. After the 25 minutes of cooking is up, I'm going to quick release the pressure. If you're not ready to eat the chili yet, you can let the pressure release naturally, which will take about another 20 minutes. If you want to have beans in your chili, at this point you would dump in a drained can of beans, like pinto or a kidney, and set the multi-pot to saute to warm them up for about 10 minutes. If you're not adding beans, like us, because my kids don't like beans in their chili, then serve it in a bowl and you can add whatever toppings you like, such as cheddar cheese, sour cream, green onions, onions, crackers, or anything else you would like. Now that I've got the cheese and crackers ready, let's see what my kids think. And let's see if they notice that it's turkey this time and not the usual ground beef that I use in this chili recipe. Let's see. There's a little bit of spice to it. Oh, to me the spice really isn't that much. I like how you can't taste any of the bell pepper or the tomatoes. It's great. Yeah. Mm. I'm pretty sure. It needs a little bit of tomato flavoring. And so other than that, not really. I like the texture. It's not very soft and very easy to chew. The only thing that's crunchy is the crackers. Cheese. The chili is hot heat-wise, so the cheese melted immediately when, when it touched it, so that's good. Mm. 
The flavor kind of tastes a bit different than usual. But overall it's the same. Very tasty. The flavors go well together. I like tomatoes because tomatoes are good and they're a fruit. Um, I like this chili. Yeah. There you have it. My taste testers didn't even notice I substituted turkey for beef in this chili recipe. So if you want a chili recipe that's healthier, go for the ground turkey instead of the ground beef. Happy Healthy Bob Chef Barry here reminding you to... Wait a minute, you're still here? Well, if so, then you might want to consider clicking on the like button or leaving a comment down below. It really helps support the channel. And you can also subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays with shorts on Thursdays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.